Hi guys, welcome back to the building part. So we saw all the tools I would use to build. So we're gonna use them today for the build. So for this build, I'm gonna use the Genius 215 frame. And of course, the screwdriver box from Ethan we saw before. So let's open it and see which screw is fitting the best. So let's take the screwdriver out, install it. Very easy as we saw before. And for this one, we're gonna use the X screw 2.0, which fits to this build. So now the screwdriver is finished and ready to start the build. So let's start with that. First, we take the down part. We put one of the feet, put the upper part. And to put them together, we will put the screw through. So make sure you find the right place for the holes. It's gonna go through. This one we're gonna set through. And close it by using this. Don't put it too uh, tight in the first place. Okay, to speed up, I will go on and do the other four feet. Okay. That's the first part. So at this place later, we will install our PDB. So I can show you already how it will look like. So that will be installed by this way. Of course, first we will later solder the PDB. So for now I will take it off and later put it back when it's ready for soldering. Let's now first go on to put the top. So let's install these parts here. So we're gonna use this, some smaller screws. And just do that in. Okay, so that's the base of our build. Later we will install this part on the top, but let's first go on with installing the motors on the arms. So for this build, we have these motors, very nice Raystar PR2306S motors, which are very strong and very nice for this build. So let's open them and see what we can find inside this box. So of course we have four of them. Here we can see the motor, wires, and the screws to install them to the arms. And later, of course, we're gonna install our ESC on the arms also. But let's first install all the four um, <coughs> motors. So if you do this, please be careful that you make sure that the wires are in the side of the arm, which will be much more easy later to solder to the uh, flight controller and the ESCs. So you can a little bit make them uh, tight with your hand already. It's also easy to control afterwards. I need to put it right to find the right place to turn it in. Okay, and once you put it, of course you can use a screwdriver to make it more tight.
actually I see for this one so once you finish turning them we will use a, again a screwdriver to get them tight but we have to need another uh, head for that one so we're going to take this one a 2.01 so easy to take off this one back and we're going to install 2.01 of course that your motors are well installed because here's where all the power comes from okay so that's the first one so let me quickly do the other ones and then come back to you so Guys, here it is. We, we installed all the motors on the arms, as you can see. So that was a very easy to do, of course, with the tools. So they are very strongly installed on it. So now I have all the stuff ready to start soldering. I have the soldering iron already warmed up. We have the electric cutting pier, which is also ready to cut the wires. So let's start by cutting the wires. Let's do that first. So first of all, we're gonna watch how long we need to cut it around. So let's put it like this. So we need to cut it around, let's say, around here, this around around. So let's take the clear out. And let's cut those wires around short. Let's always make sure that you don't cut off too much, of course. You can better not enough than too much. Cut around here. So as you can see, it's very easy to cut it off in one time. Very strong. Oh, I don't cut in the wrong side now. Up, and they're off. So that's our first part. Of course, we want to see a little bit of the wire to be careful that you don't cut all the wire, of course. That would be very bad. like this just want to see a little bit of the wire which we're going to install to the ESC taker and this one also we see a little bit skin maybe this one we can cut a little bit more skin off that would be nice. look perfect so now we can see the skin so what I would always recommend is to put some uh, pre thinning so a little bit, put some solder on it already, which will make it much more easier later to uh, install it on your uh, ESC. So put your solder, try to do this always very fast because you don't want too long to solder on it. Okay, once you did that, let's do that with all the wires and then come back to install the ESCs. So as you can see, now all are done. It's very, very easy with this uh, plier. Very nice, very smooth. The frame, in the next episode, we're gonna make the soldering. We're gonna put the ESCs, the flight controller, the PDB. So that's in the next episode. So stay tuned to the Banggood channel and I see you in the next video. Bye guys.